What was it like backstage as the Nitros were going on with like the guys getting their finishes changed and all the politics? Did you just kind of stick to yourself and stay out of all that, or what, was yeah. it hard to stay out no, of all I, of it? I definitely stayed away from the. Yeah, yeah, I didn't. I didn't like that. I didn't like the. You know, guys. That's when everybody became for for themselves. Each guy was out for himself, and it wasn't about the unity of the show or the way it flowed or the way it came out. It wasn't about the outcome. It was about me. You know. And I, the dumb bastards didn't realize their paycheck was going to be the exact same, whether they won or lost. And that's something I still don't think some of them get. Like, you guys don't get it, you know? It's, it's not whether you get your hand in the air or you get your back counted out one, two, three. It's about the bottom line. How much do you make, you know? The more business you are, the more chance you have for longevity. That's my opinion. Were you still having fun at that point, or was it like... <laughs> no, no, no. It had lost its... Lost its uh, lure to me for some reason. I, I I guess that's it. I remember calling my brother right after he had gone to TNA, and I was I second knee surgery. I was out of the business, out of the loop completely. And my brother was in TNA working with Jeff Jarrett and Kurt Henning. Bless his heart. Every time I called my brother at TNA, he would give the phone to Kurt Henning. It was right there. Obviously, they were sitting together. It was like so. I said, Kurt, man, I said, he said, Brad, what are you doing? Why don't you come up here and work? And I said, I've lost my love for the business. And Kurt said, hell, I lost my love for the business five years ago. I just didn't tell anybody. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's, you know, and then, plus it's already died shortly, you know, not long after that. It was kind of hard, but <clears throat> now I realize how, where I started from. It's, it's kind of come full circle. I started in the small areas, and I still want to do that because I can connect with people in a one-on-one -on -one type thing. Not not so much a one-on-one, -on -one, but a smaller venues to me is where I can, I feel more at home. I mean, sure, I'd love to work a big show, and one day I will maybe, but right now I'm pretty pleased with the way it's turned out. So when you were working the Nitros, you really weren't enjoying it, even though that was no. probably the most exposure you ever had? <clears throat> um, no, it, it, had become, it had become somewhat like a job. <laughs> Believe it or not, it was like work. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway.